Oh, you know, damn, man. it felt good. It felt so good, man. Just, uh, I, you know, the, the locker room just feels awesome because guys are just excited to be back, back playing football. You know, I know we've got stuff on the outside, but, um, you know, right now we get in between the white lines. Guys are just, you know, having fun and ha happy to be out there. Physically you, are you 100% where you want to be, expect to be? Man. In Confidence is back. The excitement's back. Um, you know, the wife's been, uh, Madison's been very giddy over these last couple of months. I've uh, been throwing pain free for the last three, four months. And, um, you know, I've got to thank some guys over at COP, a guy named Daryl, helped me out a lot, uh, Dr. Manning as well. But uh, figured some things out, finally, you know, found out kind of what it really was. And um, I'm just, uh, I'm very, very excited to get out there and remind the DBs what happens when, uh, when they kind of jump some routes and the ball can go over the top. Situation? Yeah, especially coming back now instead of, you know, last year we didn't start till what, mid June or something? Yeah, July. Like, that was crazy. It was hot. You know, right now we had snow the first day the rookies landed. And I'm like, I know these guys are getting off the plane. It's like, what is going on here? Um, yeah, I mean, it definitely feels just way more like a normal season. Guys, uh, you know, we know we got an 18 game season ahead of us. Um, you know, a real season, fans back, you know, no restrictions, things like that. So, I think, uh, you know, I think we're just excited to get back and remind everybody, uh, you know, how fun the CFL is. There's a comfort level to that, isn't there? Yeah, definitely. You know, I mean, it's not a, you're not kind of always questioning like, well, yeah, we have 14 games, but, you know, the, the biggest thing with COVID last year was always walking in the locker room, not knowing if, you know, somebody had tested positive. And now we got to wait to find out, you know, who were the close contacts and things like, things like that. So now we see to come here and play some football. It's going to be awesome. Well, as you get older and you're kind of in the second half of your career, how has your less young? <laughs> Sorry, yeah. excuse me, that's right. How has your uh, appreciation and perspective for each season changed? Uh, yeah, you know, Madison's even said she's kind of seen the different thought process I've had. Um, you know, I think having two girls has kind of you know taught me to be a little bit more understanding of all situations. Um, and uh, you know, for me, it's just it's appreciating. You know, after the last you know two years of what I've gone through, is appreciating the fact that I do get to come back out here. Um, you know, it was almost kind of, you know, almost taken away from me uh, for good. And uh, for that to not be the case right now, I feel, you know, very, very appreciative. Um, and just, again, just kind of that renewed, you know, sense of uh, just love to be out here and, and have fun and, and just enjoy my time with these guys as long as I can. How's your body feeling? Do you feel like you put those injuries behind you? I do. I mean, it's, it's always going to be a, you know, okay, how's it feel, you know, day 10 of camp, things like that. So we'll, we'll obviously be smart, um, but, you know, I'm here to compete. I need to compete and, and, uh, and, and prove not only to myself, but, you know, to my teammates, my coaches, and, and my GM uh, who I am. We're watching some of these new guys haul in passes there, you know, in the, in the end zone while we're waiting. How, how, you know, seeing the new receivers and the old receivers, how, how exciting uh, is that for you to see the, this group? Yeah, it's awesome. You know, last year we brought a lot of speed in. This year, uh, not that these guys aren't fast, I feel like we brought in some size. You know, I feel like the, uh, I don't know if it was 08 or 09, but that Montreal team with, you know, Jamel Richardson, SJ Green, like, they just had trees out there. Um, you know, so I feel like we've got some, we got some big boys out here, size, uh, guys that can go up and get the football. Um, I got to see a little bit during rookie camp, watch the film of what they did, and uh, I, I'm excited to, you know, kind of get out there and be able to communicate with those guys. Um, but ultimately, man, yeah, our, our guys up top always bringing great talent. I'm excited to see what they do. It's a weird one. Was it different without that speaker hanging up there? <laughs> it was weird walking out and not seeing it, I'll be honest. Uh, but, you know, I've always had a, a bad feeling about that speaker because I was, <laughs> I, was, I was never able to hit it. And our guest coach, Mitchell Gale, could. So that always, uh, that always bothered me. So when I knew he was coming back in, the speaker was coming down. I was like, nice, okay, you can't hold that over me anymore. <laughs> How closely will, be, will you be glued to Game 7 tonight? Oh, yeah. Um, we got to ask Dave, you know, in meetings or whatnot, if we can have maybe – have it on silent over there on a the phone or something just to kind of keep up with it. But uh, I mean, it's you know I, I've uh, I've become a big hockey fan since being here. Um, you know, the Flames the only team I'll, I'll ever cheer for, and uh, I'm I'm excited, man, because watching them it just seems different. They seem like a different team. You know, Sutter's got those guys, um, you know, playing fast, and it's fun to watch. So I'm very excited for them.